Welcome to another video in the Atlantic Tutorials, a comprehensive series. Now in section 6.2.6, .6, we will discuss fractions in binomials. The command slash fraction or slash binomial are used for fraction in binomial respectively. The code fraction produces A over B. So, we can write like double dollar in fraction a b this is like double dollar so i'm just copying paste the dollar symbols and now slash fraction as i write frac so it is the first option which is appearing here i will write a and here i will write b so it will give me a over b Similarly, if I want to write that n factorial by k factorial and minus k factorial in this n case, so this I will have to write in a binomial. Because this is not a division, this is n and k is in binomial. So first I will write with a fraction and then binomial n k. So this is n by k and minus k. So copying the dollar symbols here and now slash fraction and I write for the first one is n and factorial form here and then here we write k factorial and then we start bracket from here and we write n minus k n minus k and then we close bracket from here and we write factorial in front of it and this thing is equal to slash binomial okay this is slash binomial and then slash binomial and it is n and this is k and I build this and it has generated n1 okay and this is not one but this one is factorial so this is n factorial k factorial equal n k similarly there is one thing which we will have to note that the same factorial can be directly insert it from here like over here this is division and this is uc fraction so it can be entered from r shift plus f but we can directly click here and here i can write a over b and i build this and it is a over b so i can directly do from here now this command if i use in a text like the n factorial r n factorial k factorial n minus one this is the normal fraction so it seems a bit collapsed to resolve this another command which is called the defraction and this can be used directly from the menu and this will generate something like this so let's see this thing i have written till here till here i have written so i just copy this and paste this and here i will have to remove this portion for example and now you see that it is like this but let's say i remove one one dollar symbol so it will be an in line equation and i will say this is an example of fraction of fraction so in fraction i will write this and full stop and you see that it has written let me minimize a little bit okay it has written this is an example of n factorial k factorial so it seems a bit collapsed if I want to write this thing like this, 
v and here in front of fraction i write d fraction and this will give me something like this okay just enter here and you see that now it has produced this is an example of fraction look at this one and this one this one is collapsed and this one is very open and in the same format so in n line if we want sometime our equation is complex and if we want to write it very refined uh, with a refined minus so it should be like d fraction now the d fraction can be inserted directly from the menu from here like this is four dollar and here i write from this division d fraction and this will insert like this n divided by n plus one and it will generate like this so in an offline equation there is no difference at all between the fraction and defraction but in inline equation the fraction and defractions are having the differences thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video